Hey there, everybody. Oh, snap. Welcome back to the Plapper Platypus of the name and welcome to another Marvel Snap video. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to keep this intro under five minutes. No matter, even if I have to cut myself off, we're going to do it right at five minutes. Anyway, today, today's whole deck came around from a simple idea. I want to use Killmonger because I'm sick of fucking dying to Killmonger. And then one thing I noticed about Killmonger is that he disappears from your deck when you hold him because that is the way the game works. Um, so Killmonger, destroy all one cost cards in case you didn't know. The very first thing that I thought of when I saw Killmonger is like my favorite card to destroy is Nova. So the, basically the deck came from the idea that I want Killmonger to kill Nova. But I like the idea of having a tech card that's really good against certain decks while also being able to be a synergy card in our own deck. So Nova is the only one drop we are currently running. He is very awesome to destroy, um, especially with Killmonger because he doesn't even have to be in the lane with them, right? And he targets specifically that one card while also sometimes destroying things from the enemy. So my issue then was, all right, so there's three possibilities. We draw Killmonger and Nova. Awesome. They're very powerful together. We draw only Killmonger and we don't draw Nova. And I'm like, okay, that's okay because it's still a tech card. It's still usually, it's good in a lot of situations. It's not, you know, it's okay to draw it. Um, but the third scenario, you draw Nova, but you don't draw Killmonger. Uh, that sucked alone. So I was like, all right, so I can't have a deck where I draw Nova and don't have a way to kill Nova if I don't draw a Killmonger. So then I was like, all right, so I want at least a second uh, card to work with uh, Nova. So then I was like, Carnage. Okay, so then when you're running Carnage, what do you want to run? You want to run things that want to die or have a high amount of synergy, right? Forge is a perfect example. It's a low power card with a, you know, two costs, so one power. So you get most of its value from his on reveal effect, and then you eat it with Carnage. Bucky Barnes becomes a six power thing. Wolverine doesn't actually die. He just goes around. So it's like, a, so the deck started to build itself as a full on destruction deck, which was not my initial plan, but that's what we did. And uh, overall, I've been very happy with the deck. A uh, few cards that might stand out uh, that is a little awkward. Cosmo. Cosmo is a temporary placeholder. Initially, this was a, um, in fact, you might even be worth doing it. This is an Ironheart. Ironheart is, I don't, it's hard to say better on turn three. It's better a little bit later in the game when you'd play Cosmo as well. Um, but I took it out because the featured location was a double on re on reveal effects and I was getting destroyed by white tigers into Odins and the whole board being seven sevens. Um, so I, I replaced it there, but now that it's not a hot location anymore, I'd probably run something like Ironheart. The other card that might stand out as not quite being synergistic is Mr. Sinister. Um, Mr. Sinister is in the deck because he is exceptionally good with Forge. Um, when you play Forge and Mr. Sinister gets, um, you know, plus two power, he duplicates the plus two power. So he actually creates two four costs. So he's a two cost eight power thing on turn three uh, or just on turn four when you play them back to back. Very, very good. Um, he's also very good with Nova because he's a card that gets double the effect of Nova because both halves of him will get the bonus if they're already in play. Um, also is like, okay with carnage, right? Uh, carnage just eats him and gets the power. It's not like it, it lets carnage eat more, but that's not really a big thing. It would be better if we were playing lady death, but we don't have lady death yet. Um, other than that, America Chavez is here because we don't draw it until turn six. Sometimes the nine power is all you need to win. Um, very good on turn six sometimes, but usually it's so you have a higher chance to draw the Killmonger, the Nova, and then the overall synergistic package here. Jessica Jones, pretty much just an all-star card. Um, at least at these current levels, it's, uh, the eight power for four is just really good. Um, it helps you push a lot in a lane without, with very little effort. Um, especially when you're doing things like you're killing a bunch of your own stuff, like, I don't know. I, I like putting her as the fourth slot in a thing or just completely taking a row by herself. She's kind of like a um a Corin. Not his name's not Corin. Nomu. What the fuck's his name? You know, the guy that's cost four that uh Namor. He's kind of like a Namor in that uh in that way where but instead of four cost ten, she's a four cost eight, but you always get the eight, even if there's other things in the lane. So overall, Namor blows and Jessica Jones is top tier. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Enjoy the games. Let me know what you think about the deck. I will see you in the next video. Much love. Perplatypus is perplatypus. I will see you next time. That's not the right button.
New day, new deck. I don't think I'll be able to maintain this forever. We're going to have to start replaying things. But eventually, I mean, I got all the decks we need right now. After turn three, swap. All right. Well, how about we don't? We've already got the Killmonger Nova combo. Okay. That's a very uh, ballsy choice. When a card moves here, give it some juice. You know what? Maybe next turn. If we don't, I don't want to play Killmonger next turn. Um, it, it, I might have want to put these in the same thing, but I, it's my first game of the night. Give me a sec. Give me a second to turn my brain on. The question is, do we even want to give them a rock? Is that beneficial? Because we're just going to kill it with Killmonger anyway, but we're not playing Killmonger probably till turn six. Um, It's likely to mess them up more than us, right? I'm thinking here, all right? I'm thinking. We definitely want to eat the Wolverine. So maybe we put this guy here, Mr. Sinister, and we use Killmonger to kill the Nova, and then we don't... Uh, then we eat this lane. Why would they put Korg there? That's just, like, free energy for me. Take your rock back. This is the first time they've done a Korg, and I've given them back their rock. It requires a Korg being played in Oscorp Tower. Me to draw the rock and play the rock on uh, Oscorp Tower. But can you smell what the rock is cooking? That's what I got to ask. Um, this has got to be the play. That's so much dedication, though. And we're already ahead here because of their weird play. Oh, but we have Giganto. So turn five, we're going to want to play Killmonger, I think. If we're going to play Giganto, I think we I think we just go really all in on this lane because Giganto is, uh, you know, lack of a better word, big. Vulture, I'm not scared of that. This is perfect. We're going to make Giganto even bigger or we can... I mean, we might as well make the Killmonger bigger, right? I wonder if we put this in the middle. Give them a run for their money here. That'll be three, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we'll be winning this lane, winning this lane. Oh, and we'll... I think, I think this is the way to go. We could push extra hard in the left lane, but I already think they're probably not going to be playing around Giganto, right? All right, we could always play Giganto somewhere else. Yeah, look at that. He's only a minus seven Hobgoblin now, you idiot. Snap. Probably should have snapped sooner. I felt pretty confident early on. Um, they have to win all three lanes. Even this is still seven. This is still plus seven right here. I think we do this. I think this is more fun. I think this is a better play than trying to... Because I think they're unlikely to be able to get all of these, right? They're way behind. And this one, they're probably... Oh, well, <laughs> that, that should be nice and easy then. That is a bizarre final turn. That may have been an AI. That's how crazy that final turn was. All right, hey, you know what? One game, one win. I'm down. Let's keep going. Man, I'm at, like, this game has been so freaking fun, man. I am having such a blast. A blast from the past. Turn three, shuffle your deck in your hand and draw your stuff. That's a little unfortunate. It means we're not going to play the Carnage, right? Because Forge and the Mr. Sinister is just way more powerful. And they hit the one card that I would rather, I would prefer not to play even. Ah, Carnage! No, well, I mean, there he is. They might think that matters. It really doesn't. I mean, I still think we don't. We put the forge somewhere like here, I think. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Killmonger. Oh, man. Killmonger is so fucking good here. Oh, but we got to redraw it. Oh, no. Do we just play Killmonger right now to guarantee that we get it? I 
This is too much value. They've already snapped. I don't even want to snap myself. This is way less power. But if we don't draw the Killmonger again, then it's then we fucking lose. Oh, man. If it wasn't for this... Let's see what we draw. Wow. That's really good, though. So... It is kind of awkward because there's not a lane. We want to put both of these in here. I mean, I guess it'll help us win all lanes. Cosmo might not get any love here. All right, so they're going probably too heavy in this lane. Ooh, Jessica Jones. We got to play Jessica Jones this turn. In which lane, though? I mean, we're already ahead by six in this lane, and this implies that they're going to keep going there. And we might even just end up playing Mr. Um, Miss America. So what happens if I death clock here? Um, this goes up to six. That's... Uh, oh, we should have played Bucky Barnes first. That's a misplay, but six... 12 so we're ahead there also we're ahead here and we're ahead here so we're ahead in all the lanes but what are they going to do they're going to play onslaught here onslaught doesn't win them this lane does it win them this lane that'll be 9 10 11 12 um we'll be at 6 12 oh man it'd be close but i think we would still win I think we'll still win if they play Onslaught, but let's find out if I math right. Order lol. We had a guarantee win if we just played Bucky Barnes before. Because that would have been a seven power, right? That would have put us up to 13, so we wouldn't have had to guess. We did have a guarantee win either way, but that was just a classic misplay. Well, thank you for snapping, so I don't have to. If I think I would have played him in the opposite order, I would have snapped there because it would have been... A, I wouldn't have had to math it out. Easy win against Onslaught. Easy. Next game. Honestly, Killmonger, thank you for doing that work. He would have been even better if we held him later, but who knows if we would have drawn Bro, him. I was afraid that we were going to get owned tonight, but we're doing badass. I wonder, is the featured location still the um, the double the view effects? Because that's the only reason I have Cosmo in the deck right now. The uh, There's the featured hot location is Cosmo... I, what the fuck am I talking about? The feet long day at work. Uh, the featured location was a on reveal doubling effect, but I haven't seen it in the last couple games, so probably not here, huh? We want to win this Mojo World. It, it should be extra easy for us to win with a Killmonger. Draw two cards. Whoa. How do we spend three mana here? Do we just play Death Clock here? I think so. I mean, we could save and go like Carnage. But how else are we going to use all three energy? I mean, we could Cosmo, but I don't think that's going to get us there. Okay, so they're setting up for tokens. One, two, three. There's our killmonger. All right, so we're in a we're in a good spot here. With four left, Jessica Jones, right? Jessica Jones is just eight. It's very powerful. We can also forge Carnage, which is um Right, that's one, two, three, four. That's six, but it's this turn. I think we just um We'll go for the two cards. It doesn't. Nah, they're, they're, they're planning on giving up this lane right now. They're going to kill their own Nova probably with the... Oh, baby. That's probably a Carnage. Sabretooth? No. God, 
God, where's my Nova? Next turn, we're playing Killmonger. Because I kind of want to do this, right? That's huge. And the next turn, we play Killmonger and Cosmo. Let's hope that's Ant-Man. It's not. It's Carnage. Hmm. I wish I had Saber too. I do not have him. Yeah, maybe we went too hard in the middle. So Killmonger's insane. They have a zero mana saber tooth and something else. They are revealing first. So God, I really wish I got my other thing, but let's go. I don't even know if Killmonger is going to be good somehow because it kills these two, but we don't care. They're probably not winning this lane regardless, but maybe it's just better to do it. Maybe they maybe they completely forsake this. Um, let's oh, but they reveal first, so the honor reveal effect doesn't even fucking matter. Um, I guess we just put this then doesn't make a difference, does it? We could carnage here. That doesn't make a difference, though. It's just not enough. We're only one behind. But they have a zero mana fucking saber tooth. Oh, they didn't. Oh, baby. I think we win. Well, let's see what their last card is. Blue Marvel. Absolutely. Saber Killmonger, keep doing keep doing God's work. Keep doing God's work. That's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. Killmonger is so good against so many things. We didn't even get our own Nova, and he was just great. He just lines up so well against so many decks, I feel like, right now. Besides maybe, like, a mirror-type thing. All right. I won't lie. We're on a winning streak right now. I've been feeling good. Now, it, this is probably our loss. Don't get me wrong. You know, we're, we're due for one. Mr. Sinister, Wolverine. Not too concerned. I kind of... Wolverine is kind of underwhelming, but also, like, like really cool. I think I just like Sabretooth a lot more. Don't let him know. Also, did you guys... Could you guys tell that he was in the snow? I actually couldn't even tell until I just got it animated, like, a game or two ago. Look how fucking ripped he is. Look at his legs. Holy shit. Cards cannot be played here. Wow. What an unfun and engaging mechanic. Um, I think we always save Mr. Sinister. We're definitely going to put Jessica Jones here. That blows. That card is so powerful, man. I wonder if I have it. All cards here get plus two power. Okay. Kind of want to just play Cosmo. Because I don't want to play Mr. I still want to. I'm still holding out hope for turn five or six Mr. Sinister Forge. You know, that's so powerful. Damn. Outplayed. That was a three mana for two power. Same as Cosmo. Look at we got the thing. But we have to. Mm. After turn five. Okay. We have to play Jessica Jones next turn. And then turn six is going to be Killmonger, Nova, maybe a two drop. I'm going to snap. I, I, th I feel way far ahead right now. We only have three spaces left. So one of them is Jessica Jones, one of them is Killmonger, one of them is Nova. So we're probably not even going to play another card. I think no, I still think Forge is good enough here, especially with Mr. Sinister, right? That makes him essentially a five.
Mm, that won't work. Well, I guess we do still have to win this lane somehow, don't we? We want to put this here, but also we might we might lose this. Okay, let me think. Um, this is four power here, but we. I know it does. I know it's a Nambo with Cosmo. That being said, I'm nervous now. One second, let me think. Which one do I want? We still have the advantage here. I know it's a Nambo, right in the middle. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? So what do they play? Not Onslaught. They play Thor here. So we play Nova. Then we play Killmonger. If they play Thor here, they're getting eight, but we're getting two, three, four, five, six. So that would be a tie. Is that true? If they play it, it's eight, right? And then... That'll be 19, and we're getting one, two. That blows up. Three, four, five, six, putting me at 19. So we'd lose here. It'd be a tie. We'd lose, the, but then we'd win this. We're going for it. We're going for the eight. I'm not smart enough to math it out. Because they have zero one drops. Killmonger is only killing our own Nova here. But Jessica Jones is getting bigger. We're getting four, five, six, seven in this row alone. Go right to the center. I forgot about that. I, I forgot about the Ironheart. I, I thought it was only the White Tiger. Shit, that was very dumb then. All right. Well, you know, that's what you get for trying to beat Odin. Man, I really felt good about that game too. But we, we had already lost by the very fact that they had White Tiger Odin, I guess. 14 power in the middle row. A little too hard for us to beat that time. Oh, well, next game. Hey, you know what? It wouldn't be a per plat video without an excessive amount of misplays, you know? That's what I'm about. And Robert's going to learn that I win even with my misplays. Cards that cast one, cost one cannot be played here? Holy shit. Hellfire Club. Is that a straight up Stranger Things reference? When you play a card here, add a copy of the card to another card location. That's pretty sick. But what do we put there? None of the stuff is that good. I mean, I guess we just go with a nice, safe Colossus, right? Eh, Wolverine's better than Colossus most of the time. We're definitely putting Jessica Jones there, no doubt. Also, our goal now is to get Forge, Mr. Sinister. Because that's just too much power. Yeah, let's just let's just do this. No, but I don't want to do that because he might end up here. Maybe I didn't even want to do that. Let's just I know this is weird. This is weak, but I'm really hoping for Forge, Mr. Sinister turn four. That's Forge goes, and then he makes a second one. Then the Mr. Sinisters get... Unless the... I'm not sure exactly how they'll synergize. Nova. Okay, well, we're just going to do this instead, though. I mean, Jessica Jones is pretty insane with this, too. We have to play cards in only one location, though. But... 
whatever. We got Nova. We got we everything in all of our lanes want to be killed. No, oh, Mr. Sinister. Oh, now that, that just mean. We still could do it if we draw it. They only have two one drops, so I think we do Nova, Death Clock here. Then we get the Jessica Jones. Let's just let's just tap or snap, whatever. They're not beating us. They're not beating us. We're going for the dream play here. Ooh, wow. Mm, of course. Okay. So they can't play any cards here, right? So they've they've definitely lost. We kill their Iceman, right? That's five power from this row, four power from this row. And then we're getting three here and three in another one. Like th this feels like an easy win to me. Feels. Kill their stuff. Get another one. Get a Colossus. Get a second Colossus. Okay, good. Oh, you never know with Spectrum, man. Spectrum does a lot of uh, power over a lot of lanes. It is six, though. It's very, you know, it's literally the most expensive as it can get. But there we go. Misplays aside, no misplays, only missed wins. And we did not miss this win. Let's go. Thank you, Death Clock. I think you did a good job there.